I'm posting the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or the Mormons Articles of Faith to show what we actually believe. The first one is already on my page. The second one is where we kind of get a little different from most religions. It says, We believe that men will be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's transgression. Like other religions, we believe that Adam did take that fruit in the Garden of Eden. However, the difference is, is that we believe that was all a part of the plan for us to return to our Heavenly Father once again. Let me explain what I mean by some scriptures in the Book of Mormon. In Nephi 2.25, it says, Adam fell that men might be, and men are that they might have joy. It continues, and the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time, that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. And because that they are redeemed from the fall, they have become free forever, knowing good from evil, to act for themselves and not to be acted upon, save it be by the punishment of the law at the great and last day, according to the commandments which God hath given. Wherefore, men are free according to the flesh, and all things are given them which are expedient unto man, and they are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men, or to choose captivity and death according to the captivity and power of the devil, for he seeketh that all men might be miserable like unto himself. So, like the scripture said, we had this fall because we needed to have the opportunity to have the tree of knowledge from good and evil. There are oppositions in all things. Imagine life if we weren't able to feel the opposite emotions. It would be very stagnant. We need to know sadness to be able to feel joy. And through Christ, we can be saved and not live in this sin that Adam gave to us by partaking of the fruit. Here's another one that sums up really good. Second Nephi 9, 6 in the Book of Mormon, it says, For as death hath passed upon all men to fulfill the merciful plan of the great creator, there must needs be a power of resurrection and the resurrection must needs come unto man by reason of the fall. And the fall came by reason of transgression. And because man became fallen, they were cut off from the presence of the Lord. So the reason that it's a part of the plan is because we had to fall to be able to rely on Christ to save us. If we've never fallen or made mistakes, then the point of the plan of having Christ be able to save us would not be in effect. This one is awesome too. Mormon 9, 12 in the Book of Mormon. Behold, he created Adam, and by Adam came the fall of man. And because of the fall of man came Jesus Christ, even the Father and the Son. And because of Jesus Christ came the redemption of man. That one sums up all of our beliefs in this church. So that is what makes our church different. It's the second article of faith that we are punished for our own sins, not from Adam's transgressions. I hope that this made a little bit more sense and that by reading these scriptures, you can kind of see the differences between the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and other Christian religions.